is to speak. Let me share this quick story. After I went through a lot of the inner healing that the Lord brought me through and uprooted that root of rejection that haunted me all my life, what ended up happening is I, I was given a dream by the Lord. And in this dream, this woman, I'm not going to tell the dream, the woman was abusing one of her kids. And I had to confront her on it. She confessed and I told her, I said, if you do not tell your husband you need help and what you're struggling with, what you're doing to your kids, I will tell him for you. Because this needs to stop before you destroy your child. So what happened? I wake up. Week goes by. I go to a service. I go to the to the uh the class before the service. The pastor's wife is teaching these women. You can tell these women are either from a Walter Hobing home or from a halfway house. They're from some type of an organization where they're trying to mainstream back into society taking care of themselves. But you could tell they're wounded. You can see it. You can see their dysfunction as they speak. But the pastor's wife is sharing very matter-of-factly, well, all you have to do is this, and all you have to do is that, and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And the more she talked, the more their feathers drooped. You could see it on the countenance. They were not being encouraged. They were being discouraged. And they had prophesied to me during the inner healing sessions, the four or five years of inner healing sessions I went to on a nightly basis. They had prophesied to me more than once, different people who didn't hear the others, had prophesied to me that God would use me to bring words of correction to leaders of churches. That would be one of the ways God would use me. So as soon as I saw her teach that class, instantly I knew that she was the woman in my dream. And it wasn't dealing with birth children. It was the children that were under children of God. So I said, whoa. So what did I do? I set up an appointment to talk to her with her husband there. The reason I did that. It's because her husband was balanced. He was very neutral. He was very objective. Let's put it like that. He was very stable. And I knew she was more emotional than he was. And he would think with a clear mind, whereas she would deal with it through her emotions. And I want to tell you something. I sat there. I did it with tears because it was difficult. I didn't want her feelings hurt, but I had to say it. I shared what the dream was in detail. And I shared how God showed me it was about her when I sat through the class. I wasn't in the class. I was in the back observing. Now, and I watched the women's reactions. And I shared that with her. And I shared, you cannot take somebody where you've never been. You can take them to the store. But if you don't know how to get through that bad neighborhood without getting hurt, somebody's going to get hurt. So you have to have somebody who has grown up in that kind of setting to know what streets to avoid, what streets to go down, what corners to wait at, and what corners you can't even afford to wait for the light. You got to dash across the street. You don't stay stationary too long on certain streets. Only a person growing up in that knows that. But if you've never grown up in that, you can't tell these women how to get through their pain to get to your level of success. 